Hey people, are you guys ready to make your first Android app? If yes, boot your Android studio and get ready. So this is how your Android app would look once it is done. It is a simple layout with four elements, a image, two text boxes and a button. First of all, you have to create a new project in Android Studio. Here is how it is done. Okay, open Studio. Create a new project. Give a name. I select Empty Activity. And click Finish. So this is how the interface of Android Studio looks like. If you want to know more about the components, do comment down below. I will make a short simple video for that. Let's finish the layout part first. As I told you earlier, there are four components. A image, two text boxes and a button. Let's add them in our design view. Okay, there are a few more things which you have to do before starting the layout. Let's take out the action bar. and from change from constant layout to relative layout and lastly remove the text now let's drag and place the components we should also give id to the elements The content in text boxes are called strings. In Android Studio, we usually don't put hard-coded text inside the design view. Instead, we use a separate file called strings.xml. Strings.xml is present in values. Let's give a string name to button and also the other text views. Look at the syntax and write down your content yourself. Okay, I just paused the recording and finished writing the text. I will change the text values for home page alone. Coming to the image part, there are actually 5400 different display sizes present in the world. And as a developer, you have to make sure that your app prints the same type of image in all the devices from 4 inch smartphone to 5 inch tab. But don't just freak out yet, there is this open source software which could do the job for us. I have already collected the images I need to have in my app. The first one is a PNG file which I made for app logo and the others are drawable files. Okay, this is the free resizer tool. It will create different images for our pictures. These are different images based on resolution. Now let's open the directory of drawable file and paste these folders over there. Okay, so here are different images. 
Now let's drag and drop the image view and change the background as well. So lastly, we will modify the layout part a bit. Okay, so the layout part is done. Now let's do some Java programming to change the elements as we click the button. Open your Java file. Firstly, we need to connect the elements of the Android XML to the Java file. So we create variables. Then we assign the IDs to the variable. Then we use them for the program. I'm going to create array of strings and images here to change the values in text views and image views as we click the button. You do not worry about the syntaxes, you will be learning gradually as you make many apps. Okay, so similarly I created the Similarly, I have created two different arrays and then given IDs to the variables. Now we specify listener for our button. The programs inside this listener would occur if the button is clicked. Remember, we had a counter. Now this counter would help us navigate through the arrays. Now I'm giving commands to change the text view and the image views as we click the button. Okay, let's run our app. I have already created a virtual device. There it goes. So at last we get an error. Okay, looks like our app is almost done. Now let's add a pop-up window at the end to tell the user that they have finished viewing our app. Let's create an alert dialog box at the very end. The logic is very simple. We have four different windows, right? So as our index starts from 0, counter to 4 would be the end.
that's it we have finished making your first android app now go share this app with your friends and families but before that make sure like comment and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel it means a lot to us